Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to uh, share three projects using products from the latest release by C6 and I, I have also posted another video where you can see a close-up look on all the products that I got in my box as a C6 ambassador. All the cards that I'm sharing today are really easy to make, they showcase those dies and uh, all the dies that I chose to work with today are less than $10, which means that they are a great deal. They are all on sale and if you visit my blog you will find links to everything you need and you will find how you can get a free gift from Sazix. For my first card I'm using the Hanging Planters, this is a lovely die set that gives you three pots with plants on them and you can use them as they are or use the string on top to turn them into Hanging Planters. I cut out everything using colored cardstock and here is what I have after running everything through my Big Shot machine. Now I'm going to do some paper piecing, so I'm separating the plants from the colored uh, uh, pots and then I'm going to stick the pots on top of the green plants so I'm doing a little bit of paper piecing here to end up with multicolored elements. Now of course you can cut out everything using uh, white cardstock and then just use your coloring mediums like pencils or markers to color everything. And now I can use some glue at the back of the string and then stick those on top of my plants. And of course I will repeat the same process for the other two plants. Now, just like always, you will find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area, but make sure to visit my blog because you will find there all the details about the discount and the free gift. I have a white panel here and I'm going to do some inking. For that, I'm using a light shade of blue. This is Distress Oxide ink, but you can use any type of ink that you have. And I'm going to make sure that I leave enough white space at the bottom, so kind of an ombre look here, and I'm also going to add some splashes, which are going to react with the stress oxide ink and make my background more interesting. Now it's time to put my card together, I added uh, foam tape at the back of the planter, but uh, for the top of the hanger I used uh, some glue, so it is going to remain uh, dimensional, but at the top it's going to be flat. And always before I stick my elements down on my card, I play around a little bit with the cutouts to decide where I want everything to go. And once I'm happy with the placement, then I commit and stick everything down. So here I made sure that nothing is at the same height, so I have some variation, and one of them is overlapping another, just to make my card look more interesting. And I cut out a fourth hanger where uh, I used it to cut out little pieces for the top of those rings, if you notice on my card. Now for the sentiment I am going with the pop art uh, alphabet and I'm going to spell out the word hello using the yellow cardstock that I used for one of the pots. A really simple card to recreate for less than $10 using up any scrap of cardstock that you have at home. And also, instead of spelling out the word hello, you can stamp any sentiment. I think this design would work perfectly for any occasion. Moving on to the second card and using another favorite from this release. This is the Rainboot Planter. And I'm going to cut out again everything out of uh, scraps that I have in my cardstock scrap box. So just to make my elements more interesting, I cut out the boot twice, one from lighter and another one from darker shades of uh, yellow, and I'm going to uh, separate the base and stick one on top of the other, so you can see that now I end up having a multicolor boot, which is more interesting than the first one. Now, there are also pieces that you can cut out that uh, decorate the boot, other fun things that you can do with this boot is to cut it out from uh, polka dot pattern paper or you can even add glossy accents on top to make it super shiny. I also cut out a white tag. This is a tag that has a lovely stitching all around and it comes from an old uh, die set that I have by Sizzix. I am going to link it down below. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment here, for that I'm going to go with two different colors of uh, ink and my sentiment is going to read, you are special. This comes from the Reason to Smile Alte New stamp set, but you can uh, stamp any sentiment that you like. I think this design again is quite versatile and works for any occasion. 
I used foam tape at the back of my boot to stick it uh, down and now I'm going to add some glue on all the um, leaves and uh, the flowers that I have cut out. For the leaves I went with two different colors of green, so a lighter and a darker one, just to add some variation there. And uh, for the flowers I went with light pink for all of them. I am sticking everything down with my Nouveau Deluxe, so here I'm just adding some uh, dots of glue here and there. And now this is a pencil that I get asked a lot about. This is just a wax pencil, really inexpensive, and I think it is uh, used in uh, nail art mainly. To embellish my tag I have a piece of seam binding which I am threading through the hole and then I'm going to chop off the excess and I have some uh, orange thread that matches the color of my boot which I'm going to tie in a knot and create a double bow. And I'm also using my reversible tweezers here which come in handy especially when you need a third hand. I have foam tape at the back of my tag and I'm going to stick that on top of this pattern paper with those uh, green brush strokes. This comes from an old Altenew uh, paper pad which is called Reflection. I finished off my card with white uh, Nouveau drops at the center of the flowers and here are some close-up photos. And now let's move on to the third card. This time I'm using the space die set. This comes with lots and lots of dies to create your very own space along with a satellite and a rocket. And again I'm going to cut out all the pieces using colored cardstock from the box where I keep all my scraps. Again this is a lovely die set that can create beautiful uh, cards uh, in no time just with using your scraps. So I'm just putting everything together here. I'm not going to do any inking or any other technique, super simple, but you will see that it's going to look gorgeous. Now this uh, circle that I have cut out is meant to be the base for the earth, but if you cut it a little bit smaller, you can uh, stick it behind the moon and have some darker areas. And I continue to put everything together, so this is uh, the, the earth, it comes with two dies, a solid circle and that uh, water. And uh, I have cut out the rocket twice, one out of uh, silver cardstock and another one out of red. So I'm just going to cut out pieces from the silver one so that I can use them as accents on the main rocket. Of course you can use the die cuts as they are in solid color, but I think that adding uh, little bits and pieces with different color really brings all those cutouts into life. I'm also going to add a window, so I have a silver cardstock as a circle there, and on the inside I'm going to stick a yellow one. Now as a background for my card I'm going to use a pattern paper from the Celestial Paper Pack. This is by Altenew and it comes with uh, 24 uh, papers. They are all double-sided, they are really thick paper and it's kind of shiny. So uh, it gives great patterns for space as well as night skies. Now I'm going to use the simplest of them all which is uh, black with some splashes and of course instead of using this pattern paper you can recreate it easily. Just use black cardstock and splatter some white paint on top. I played around a little bit with all my cutouts to decide the placement and now I'm sticking all the planets down and for the rocket I'm going to go with foam tape at the back for some dimension. Now all that's left to do is to stick on top the sentiment, for that I went with one that says you mean the world to me and I just stamped it with black ink on a thin piece of uh, white cardstock. Finally all I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a standard card and here are some close-up photos. And let's take a quick look on all the three cards that I shared for today using products from the latest release by Sizzix. I hope you had fun that you got inspired. And if you want to take a close-up look on uh, more dies from this release, I am going to link that unboxing video at the end of this one. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.